But before we get into that, I want to talk about, uh, you know, there's been a lot of questions that continue to come up about being an instructor. And I think Seeklander and I have, we're going to end up teaching like six instructor classes this year. So it's on my mind a lot, Andrew. And I know that you have a great deal of instructor time. You've traveled around the country for years teaching self-defense law. In your opinion, sir, what makes a great instructor? Oh, well, that's a that's a multivariate question. I mean, the first thing, really, whatever is being taught is utter mastery of whatever it is you're teaching. Unfortunately, you know, it's very, very difficult in the self-defense community because it's the, the threshold to become certified as an instructor is basically zero. Um, and I say that as someone who got my NRA certifications in pistol, rifle and personal protection in one weekend in a training counselor's basement back in 1990 something. And when I walked out of there, I had certificates as an instructor in those three disciplines. And in hindsight, I knew nothing about any of those things, except in the most superficial possible way. Uh, and, and that's an unfortunate reality. Now, in terms of just the, you know, the basic safety stuff, let's face it, you can teach that to somebody in 15 minutes and they can teach that to other people and that's all fine. And if these brand new spanking certified instructors were doing only that, kudos. That's fantastic. We want people to be safe with guns. But unfortunately, a lot of instructors get these basic superficial certifications and then hold themselves out as some kind of actual experts on these subjects. It takes years, folks, years and years to become an actual expert in these things, to be able to do these things. And more importantly, not just do them, but then have the skills to teach them, which is a completely different skill set entirely. There's lots of great shooters out there who are terrible instructors. Um, but so you need to have both skill sets. You need to be able to do what you're teaching or at least have had the ability to do what you're teaching. Sometimes I get a little pushback where people say, hey, you know, when I was 20, I could do this. Now I'm 50 or 60. I'm not as bouncy as I used to be. Uh, maybe the skills have degraded a little bit. And that's completely understandable. But if you never knew how to fire a gun accurately under time pressure, you ought not be teaching that to other people. If you had that skill and maybe it's degraded a little bit with age, I'm older every day, just like everybody else. I get it. Uh, that's completely understandable. But at least at one point, you possessed the skill. You understood it and had mastered it. And that's fine. I don't have any objection to that. Um, but if you've never actually done it, I mean, I see people teaching things they, they can't do. I mean, firearms instructors who can't shoot. They don't know how to actually run a gun. And they're out there in control of a firing line purporting to be teaching other people how to do this. And it's, it's a travesty. It ought not be done. So master your subject matter. Master yourself first. And then also make sure you're developing good teaching skills. Now, I know the kind of instructor course teaching that, that you and Mike do, because um, I have Mike's book. I forget the title. It's up here on the shelf in my office. Uh, but it also teaches how to teach, not, not just the underlying skills themselves. And that's a very important skill set to have as well. And very complicated skill set. I saw TC is on here. Um, he's a doctor of education. Uh, and he can attest, you know, there's lots of ways to teach and different students absorb information best in different ways. Uh, frankly, my own form of teaching that I did for so many years, traveling 40, 45 weekends a year, teaching two-day law self-defense classes. One of the reasons we started our membership program where we were providing access on an almost daily basis, blog posts, video, audio, was because probably the worst way to learn what I teach is to sit for two days and a weekend in a class for 16 hours and try to absorb a fire hose of legal information. I mean, that, that would be impossible for anybody to do. The best way is to get a good foundation, get our free book, read it. It's very easy to read. Most people can read it in three or four hours. Um, one of my regrets is we never did a graphic novel version of it because that would be even better. Um, but read the book, Have start with that foundation, and then just access our content every day and absorb it in little doses. And within a few months, you'll you'll have a mastery of the subject matter. It's not, it's not rocket science, folks. What I do is not super complicated. It's relatively simple. The, the problem with what I teach, the subject matter, is there's so much bad information out there. There's so much misinformation out there on the internet that people can't differentiate between what the actual law of self-defense is and what, what the internet law of self-defense is. And folks, when you're in court, no one gives a damn what the internet law is. No one, no one cares what you're firearms instructor taught you or what you misunderstood as statute to mean that, that none of that means anything the only thing that counts is what the law actually is there's not that much of that it's not that hard to learn but you need to be able to differentiate between that actual law and all the nonsense that's out there on the internet 
Hey folks, I hope you enjoyed that small snippet from the roughly hour and a half long interview of yours truly, attorney Andrew Branca, by Rich Brown over at the American Warrior Society on his weekly Coffee with Rich show. If you'd like to enjoy the full length video of that interview, you can access that by clicking the box that just popped up on the screen here. Also, before I go, I want to make you aware of a couple of time-limited opportunities we're making available to all of you who enjoy your Law of Self-Defense content. The first opportunity is the chance to get a copy of our best-selling book, The Law of Self-Defense, a real softcover book, over 200 printed pages, not merely an ebook. That normally sells for about $25, but for a limited time, you can get that book for free. To learn more about that opportunity, just click the magic box that just popped up on your screen. The second opportunity is the chance to try out access to our Law of Self-Defense members-only content on an unlimited access basis, full access to our thousands of hours in blog posts, videos, podcasts of plain English self-defense law analysis and insight for a mere 99 cents. That 99 cents gets you two full weeks of full membership access, even better if you decide it's not for you, and almost nobody does that, but if that's what you decide, simply take advantage of our no questions asked, 200% money back guarantee. To learn more about that trial membership opportunity, just click the new magic box that just popped up on your screen. Okay, folks, that's all I have for all of you at the moment. Remember, if you carry a gun so you're hard to kill, that's why I carry a gun so I'm hard to kill, then you also owe it to yourself to make sure you know the law so you're hard to convict. Until next time, I remain Attorney Andrew Branca for Law of Self-Defense. Stay safe. <laughs>